Korean Technical 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 Training Institute. I have a story. Topic: David and Goliath. In the place of Judah, Tamsoko. In Ezekiel, place Ephes Damim, where Philistines people come to them. Philistines people came in Soko, where they were ready for battle. In the valley of Ela, where the Israelites people also come to them. Israelite soldiers with King Saul were ready for battle with Philistine soldiers. In the mountain area, Philistine soldiers stood there, while in another mountain area, Israelite soldiers stood there in the valley of Elam. In Philistine's people, there was one person who was big and was nine feet. The person's name was Goliath, who was from a city called Gath. Goliath wore, hel wore helmets, a knife around his waist, and one at the back made with bronze. Goliath wore spear around his waist that weighed 57 kgs. Goliath's spear weighed 7 kg. Goliath's soldier came in front of him with shield who was always there. Goliath came in front and shouted and told the Israelite people, Why have you lined up? King Saul has made all of you to serve him. Choose one person to come and kill me. If the person kills me, Philistine's people will be under your service. If I kill the person, you Israelite people will be under Philistine's service. Come, I stand here to challenge with you Israelites. Choose one person to come. Israelite soldiers with King Saul heard and they were scared. Every morning and evening, Goliath would shout the same message for 40 days. In the place of Judah, town named Bethlehem, there was, there one, was one person who lived there. The person's name was Jesse. He had a family born of many from Ephraim, Rathite. Jesse had eight sons. David was the last born. Jesse's first, second, third born were with Israelite soldiers. When King Saul was king, Jesse was very old. King Saul camped at Bethlehem, where David would come and go. David was born there at Bethlehem. Jesse had sheep and made David to take care of the sheep. Jesse called David and said, In the place of Valley Ella, your brothers are there with Israelite soldiers. Take these ten loaves of bread and ten roasted grain to your brothers to share. See how your brothers are and bring back food for me. King Saul, your brother, your brothers, all Israelites are there. You go. David agreed. Tomorrow morning, Jesse told David the same message and part. There was one man carried for the sheep where David told him to help him to take care of the sheep. David carried the bag and went to the camp. When David arrived at the camp place, Israelite soldiers were shouting and ready to go for battle. Israelite soldiers lined up and Philistine soldiers lined up ready for battle. 
There was one Israelite man at the tent where David came and gave the man the bath. David ran to the battle, greeted and interacted with the brothers. When David was interacting with his brothers, Goliath was shouting that one person to come and say the and that one person to come and they say the same message. David had Israelite soldiers were scared. Israelite soldiers were talking to each other. You've heard what Goliath has said. If one person killed Goliath, King Saul will give the person wealth. King Saul, King Saul will give the person the daughter to marry. And the person's family will not pay tax. When Israelite soldiers were in David had an ax to Israelite soldiers. Goliath took against Israelite soldiers. Goliath is nothing before God. If a person kills Goliath, King Saul will give the person what will King Saul give the person? Israelite soldiers answered the same. If the person kills Goliath, King Saul will give the person wealth. King Saul will give the person to marry. Father, the father's person will not pay tax. When David was interacting with Israelite soldiers, David's firstborn brother saw David and he was angry. He walked towards David and asked David, Why did you come here? Who is taking care of father's sheep? I know you are bad. You come to watch. David answered, What have I done? You want me to be quiet. David asked other soldiers, and they answered the same like before. Israelite soldiers saw David asking, and they went to tell King Saul. King Saul heard and sent them to bring David. When David met King Saul, David said, Your Majesty, I serve you. Israelite soldiers are afraid of Goliath. I will go and fight him. King Saul answered, You are a small boy. Ago, when you were small, Goliath was in battle. It's impossible for you to fight him. David answered, Your Majesty, I do serve you. I work and take care of my father's sheep. If a lion wants to attack the sheep, I go and save it. Again, if a lion comes and attacks the lamb, I go and save it, save it. And if the lion wants to attack the I beat it to death. Same with Goliath. Lion, same attacked me. God help, helped me. Destroy, same with Goliath. God will help me destroy Goliath. King Saul answered, God is with you. You go. King Saul gave David a helmet sword and knife. David wore them and he couldn't walk. David said to King Saul, I'm not used to wear this. David removed what he had worn and threw them down. David took a sling and walked towards a river and took five stones kept them in the bag while walking to go meet the Goliath. King Saul called one of the Israelite soldiers and said, Who is the father of this small boy? Israelite soldier answered, Your Majesty, me I don't know. King Saul said, Go and search 
who is the father of the small boy. The Israelite soldiers had and the Israelite soldier had and went. David walked and met where Goliath was. Goliath said, You small boy with perfect face. What's the stick for you? What's the stick? What's the stick for? You think me I'm a dog? Philistines people were there. Goliath used bad words to mock David. Goliath asked, You know I will kill you and destroy your body, and animals will come and destroy everything. David said, You come with spear and knife, but I come with God. He will help me to kill you. God will help me destroy the Philistines' people, and animals will come and destroy, to destroy everything. Israelites saw and understood that God was there. Goliath got angry and started walking towards David. David saw he was coming, and he removed the stone from the bag and used his leg to throw to Goliath. The stone hit Goliath, and he fell and he died. David ran towards Goliath and cut his head. Philistines saw Goliath is dead and turned and started running. Israelite soldiers saw Philistines running and they followed them to Shrin and killed them. When Israelite soldiers killed all Philistine soldiers, they went back to where they got camped. David took Goliath's head and went to Jerusalem. David took Goliath's head to King Saul. Israelite soldiers saw David going and followed him to King Saul. King Saul saw the small boy and asked, Who is your father? David answered, My father's name is Jesse.